Hello there! This time we're going to make a uh, blood brother. Or actually, you should probably make more because blood uh, blood brothers uh, only work if you are two or more. But I will get into that later. Um, we're playing Vampire the, the Masquerade 20 years anniversary edition. Um, and yeah, the first thing you have to you have to do is to um, find out what kind of character you want. Uh, and when you have uh, find that out, you have to find a nature. And the nature is how your character is deepest within. Like when you are alone or with good friends, you want to help people, but people think that you are. Uh, you are a monstrous, you are a murderer, so people are afraid of you, or whatever you want to do it. Uh, you can also be caregiver, caregiver, people think you are a caregiver, and you are. Um, so you have to find out what you want to uh, choose for your character. This is what people see you as, and this is what you really are. Um, and to regain willpower, you have to uh, uh, you have to make your nature. So here you have to take care of people to get your willpower back. But I will get back to that later. Um, to make a blood brother, you actually have to think about a few things that you normally don't don't have because blood brothers have this special ability called synchronous. Um, that means that how uh, that you can share some of your abilities uh, with the other blood brothers. Uh, the first one uh, makes that you can uh, help one of your blood brother uh, heal by using one blood point. And blood point is what you use to use abilities. Uh, it's down here. Uh, and to heal your wounds or increase your physical attributes. Um, so you can use one blood to heal them. Uh, so even though that they cannot use more blood or don't have more blood in their body they want to use, you can give them blood to heal. Um, the second one is that you can begin to give the other blood brothers limbs. Meaning that your arm just disappear and it reappear on your fellow blood brother. Um, or give them more eyes so they can see uh, see wider or you can give them legs to they are not that easy to fall back or whatever purpose you want them. More mouth to uh, feed faster or something. Um, extra arms and so on don't give you more attacks but you can use it to grab on to people and hold them uh, steady while you are uh, feeding from them, attacking them with your other arms or so on. That's the, that's the second one. And the third one is quite interesting. The third one gives you a lot of abilities. It gives you telepathy so you can speak with your fellow bl uh, blood brothers. It makes that uh, your difficulty on your perception rolls are free lower because you can see f through the other's eyes uh, while you still see through your own and you can actually use that without getting confused. Um, you can, and this is one of the great powers, you can give your other blood brothers some of your uh, some of your abilities so you can, uh, if one is attacked uh, and it's not very good at melee and you have like four or five you can give him your five melee so he can fight fight off this enemy or if he's not good at see if people are alive you can give him your empathy or so on um, but you have to get out of combat and concentrate so you cannot do much else uh, while you're giving but you can just give on whatever they really need uh, and also it makes that um, if someone is trying to mind control you or have your willpower as a difficulty uh, like here they have to go for the blood brother with the highest one so if you only have like one but 
one of your uh, blood brothers have 10 up here um, they their difficulty is 10 so um, and yeah that's mostly what the abilities uh, gives you and when you're using this um, every blood brother have to use one blood point to accept you using this power um, so if one doesn't want to give one blood blood point and the other has give, given one the ability fails um, and you uh, you don't necessarily have to have this ability but if you want to you mean if you have zero and your friend have three they can still give you limbs and so on you can just not help them with giving limbs or blood points or willpower or so on um, so yeah you can only have one with this ap ap uh, ability or you could have like five with with them so you can just you know, juggle around with blood points and limbs and whatever you want um, but I will get back to back to this but that means that uh, I will recommend one of you going all out fighting then one go all out social and one go all out mental and then if you need something from from the other blood brothers you can just like oh you try to use an intelligence craft role oh I have fallen craft here you can take take my 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 four and then you have nine dices. Um, so you have to think of what you want to specialize in, so you can give it on to the other blood blood brothers. You cannot give uh, attributes and you cannot give disciplines and backgrounds and virtues, but you can give like abilities. You can give blood, willpower, um, and so on. Um, so depending on what you want to make, you should uh, try to maximize your physical, social or mental out. Uh, since the other two abilities are mostly fighting, so I will just make a fighter and the others can just make a social or mental. Um, since that we have uh, potence increase your strength and fortune increase your stamina, I think that the most important thing for you to have is dextery. You have um, 9, 5 and 3 points, no, 7, 5 and 3 points uh, to put put out in one of these. So you could put like 7 in this, 5 in this and 3 in this or 7, 3, 5 or so on. Um, there's three ways to make a character uh, in my op uh, opinion. There is the roleplay based, like I'm a cop, I have a little bit of strength, not that much stamina, and I'm pretty dex dexy. Uh, like, like let's say you are, yeah, like this. Or if you're saying I'm a, I'm a brute, I'm someone to just hit people for no reason. You'll probably have like well, this. Um, uh, a lot of strength, you hit well and you probably don't take that much damage or like this, whatever you, you want to play. And then there is the balanced one, you just try to balance out every ability you have, so you're not good at anything but you're not bad, so everything you are trying to do is not horribly uh, bad or uh, extremely well, but you can do the most stuff uh, without any problem. And then there's the last one, is the XP based. Uh, XP based is that instead of you just uh, putting uh, what is <laughs> quote unquote the best for your character you're doing, so you're using the least amount of experience. So if I should do this, I will do it like maximize, oh and you can only increase something to 5 at this point. Uh, I will maximize one thing and try to maximize a second one. Um, since you have blood brothers, the problem can heal you. Stabbing is not the most important because they just help you up full. But if you don't want to, you know, spending all your blood uh, at once on uh, healing damage, uh, you should take stamina, or else I will take strength. This is seven points. Uh, you gain more experience to maximize them. 
um, for example over here if we use three points here it will be like this and every point you have cost uh, four per dot you already have so if we have zero is four times one that's four so four eight uh, twelve experience but if you do it like this is like um, oh, like this the first one is four the next one is eight and next one is twelve so that is twenty four experience so you actually gain 12 but as you can see you cannot manipulate people you're not very pretty um, so this would be the better way for, for you not to fail at the first uh, game um, but experience wise this is the best uh, way to do it um, then I would probably put yeah free in in this one and I will do it in manipulation. It seems that you use more manipulation than charisma or appearance. Um, and then I would use five here. I would uh, do it like this um, because perception is what you see if you react to to stuff. That's good if you have to fight. But you know, wits are also good, so you react fast. Uh, so if you don't agree, just like take it like this. Um, so you have an initiative of plus 10 uh, that's that's not bad but plus 6 is not bad either uh, but whatever you want uh, I, I'm a sucker for perception so I would do it like this and try to get your intelligence to more than 1 because then you're not uh, stupid so you're just average uh, down here the same principle but you have 13 9 and 5 points um, for, for battle is mostly here and a little bit bit of here so I will use like 13 points 9 points and 5 points uh, what I normally do is that I put one point in everything you should have at least one in or I want to have at, at least one in um, and I will recommend that to even though you could technically give all your alertness or so on to you or the blood brothers but I think you should just have the most of them just have one because if you have zero in something the difficulty for trying to do it without that ability is free higher so I, f I want to see if someone is sneaking up uh, behind me to stab me I have to use a perception plus al alertness and that's probably diff 6 normally if you have at least one in it but with zero is difficulty 9 so you have five uh, dices with difficulty 9 but if you just have one in this there's six dices with difficulty 6 um, but depending on what kind of blood brother you will how you will do it like you can say like no I don't want alertness my friend will pick a lot of alertness and so on so on so on so we can you know shift that's fine too but that can be extremely dangerous so I'll just suggest a few you at least have one in and then you can go nuts alertness always take that always take one in athletics one in brawl uh, alertness is if you see something athletics is if you dodge attacks and try to hit people with throwing weapons brawl is if you want to hit people with your fist or grapple people um, streetwise you can find your way around the streets um, have at least one uh, fighting ability except uh, for uh, brawl like melee or fire uh, firearms but since we're making a fighter we'll at least take one of each I will suggest stealth stealth is extremely good to have so you at least have a chance of stealthing around and then at least one in occult and investigation uh, it's also called search in the secondary abilities that is the real ability but most people use investigation uh, these are those you at least should have one in, uh, in my opinion. Something I sh think you should consider taking is larceny, so you can break up a door, uh, uh, lock picket, or lock, uh, steal a car, or something like like that. And empathy, so you can see if people are lying and subterfuge, so you can lie yourself. But they are not extremely necessary and I also suggest like and drive one so you can at least try to drive um, 
We have 13 points uh, in in this one. Uh, here you can do it again like you try to roleplay it. Like, oh, my person is okay, good at driving, and uh, he has, he's not he's not a, a, a newbie on breaking uh, lockpick doors and so on. Uh, or you can try to balance it again, like. Um, you try to balance it as much as possible, or you can XP base it again. And XP base it is like, uh, if we take it over here, we have a little bit of space. Let's say you put three, you have three points, and these cannot be increased to more than three, that's why I say three. You can do it like this. For starting something from zero to one costs three experience, so that is three, six, and nine experience points. Uh, if we are doing like this, it costs 2 for each start you already have, this was 4. Uh, so it costs 3 to start it, 2 more, because 1 times 2 is 2, so that's 5, and the next one is 4 extra, that's 9. So th this is 9, and this is 9. But if you do it like this, it's only 3, 6, 8. So you lose 1 experience points if you do it like this. But it's not necessarily bad to have. Oh, and something you also should have is academic one, so you can read and write and calculate, basically. Um, so, I will put three in firearms and melee. Uh, I will put three in stealth. I uh, really like stealth. Um, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I would probably take a lot of drive so I can get the hell out of everything. And then I would su suggest someone with high intelligence maybe taking craft and someone with high charisma and so on taking etiquette and so on. Um, yeah, and then we have nine, nine points. Um, athletics is quite good for you too, you can dodge attacks. Um, especially with low stamina. Um, I will take some brawl too, so I can grapple people and hit them with if people are loaning me their arms and so on. Uh, that is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's too much. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, what to do, what to do. Ten. Hmm. Then take a little bit of brawl away. I have two points. Yeah, this is what oh, I have one point left. Uh, intimidation. Uh, you can intimidate with with words, with manipulation. We're good at and or strength like t uh, put them up and like threatening with your muscles. And then we have five points. Um, Occult is just good to have so you know basic about vampires and mages and so on. But I will take investigation so I can find what I'm searching for. Then we get down to this one. Uh, this is a little bit tricky, I think, because um, Fortitude increases your stamina by one point for each, and what you have in Fortitude you can use to soak aggravated damage. There's three ty types of damage. There's bashing, that is if I hit you with my fist, you don't die but it hurts. Uh, I could, uh, and then there is lethal, I take a knife, I stab you, you would probably die. And then there is aggravated, that is flamethrowers, acid, magic, sunlight for vampires, uh, fire and so on. Um, and then there is potent, potent increases your uh, strength by one for, for each. And you can use one blood point to uh, not roll these extra potent strengths. Uh, to just have them as automatic successes, so you only have to roll your weapon and your strength. Uh, and then there is this one. The first one makes that you can give you a, uh, give uh, your other blood brothers uh, blood. Uh, the second one was to give limbs, uh, and the third one was a lot of stuff like telepathy, better perception, uh, give uh, attributes, and so on. And since I think that you are probably only fighting based. You should at some point have this, but I think you stand in the front row of everything. So I would actually not put my dots in this one. Uh, I will make the one with high charisma because they don't have to 
hit hard, maybe a little bit of fortitude, and the same for the mental one. Um, so I think I would put them like. Oh, and yeah, here is also the way of doing like role playing. I'm a one who can bash and I can take some damage, or you can balance it out like this. You only have three points and you only increase it to three at this point. Um, or you can XP base it. That is uh, the smartest way to XP base is actually <laughs> balance it out. Uh, because it costs 10 to start and 5 for every dot you have. So if you did like this, it would be 10, 10, and 5. And 10, 5, 10. So you will lose 5 experience. Uh, but I actually think that it would not be bad to actually have started um, this one. Uh, because making that you can heal your friends with blood is not that bad. And um, this ability is based on uh, you can you can do it how no matter how far you are uh, away from from your other blood blood brothers um, and if some of your blood brothers dies they're not uh, considered being in the pack anymore meaning that if one of you die and you ask like hey would everyone want to use a blood point so I can uh, gain uh, my friends melee um, the dead one doesn't count as one of the pack anymore, so they so it it, it wouldn't fail um, basically. Um, then there is the backgrounds and backgrounds. You should yeah, that's a lot. You you have five and can only increase them to five. You can have allies, and I will suggest like that the fighting one took uh, the generation, meaning you're closer to the original vampires and just max it out. Uh, the social one I will take like allies and maybe domain or contacts um, or maybe uh, hurts um, and allies is people who want to help you when you are in danger or need something. Contact is you know someone who sell, sell weapons or a policeman that won't uh, uh, ask questions or so on. Um, Generation is yeah your generation to 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 the vampires and the higher that one is the lower your generation gets and the more powerful you can be, be, become. Then there's herds uh, they are the one you feed from. Uh, then there are retainers that is the ghouls, uh, people you have feed blood to so they want to do your bidding. Um, and resource is you start with a lot of money. Maybe the mental ones should take that, or maybe whatever you actually want. But um, for for the fighter, I will take gener oh sorry the generation one. Um, then you have uh, virtues. This is uh, the first one is how easy you have have by killing people. Uh, is it easy for you, or do you have a hard time killing people? Uh, morally based. And self control is that if you need a lot of blood. Do you go in frenzy and just try to kill everyone until you get the blood you want? And courage is if you see fire, sunlight, something you are afraid of, and so on. Do you flee? Um, these two makes for your humanity, and the last one makes for your willpower. Uh, humanity is that how human are you? Uh, if you have like 10, you cannot think a selfish thought uh, without rolling uh, your conscience roll. And if you have like one, you can do basically everything you want, but it's very clear that you are a vampire. Um, and if you are in, in the middle, I think you are well set. Um, but if you reach zero in your humanity, you become uh, consumed by the beast, and the beast is like the curse of the blood. Meaning that you go in, in, a, in a rampage, you only um, sleep, feeds, uh, and kill. You don't do much else, and your character go out of the game because they are not playable. Um, so again, you can use it like balanced or role playing based. Um, since you are one who going to kill a lot, uh, I would increase your conscience to max and your courage to um, to um, four. Uh, unless that uh, one of the other blood brothers want to 
do that the willpower are based on their willpower instead uh, I will maybe take self control um, but I don't like to be mind controlled so personally I will put courage one and then with my experience buy a little more self control uh, but that means that we have like six in humanity so we are normally humane and we have a willpower of four um, willpower there is these boxes uh, be below it meaning that if you want to hit someone uh, and in our case it will be dex plus melee so we have like eight dice to roll and you're afraid of not hitting or you just want to be sure to hit you can mark one, one of these off that means you use one of your willpower so your willpower is currently at three points um, but then you get an automatic success meaning that uh, you have a slightly higher chance of hitting and hit well but you don't get, get these back uh, except for every session uh, for every story you have played uh, every time you uh, fulfill your nature like probably not caregiver you have to find someone that suits that suits your playstyle but every time you do your nature um, and uh, or if you use the optimal rule uh, that you get one back every day you just do nothing just relaxes and get your will back um, you only have uh, this many health bars meaning that if you get the one the first damage you have to mark it off like uh, bashing this it, that, that is the dot uh, lethal is the slash and the X is aggravated damage um, and if you uh, these are the penalties you get for doing anything while in such a bad shape meaning if you have like this you have minus one die to everything you are doing and when you get down to injured you don't plus these two there's just still only minus one die then is minus two die two die five die and then you are incapacitated if you get one more damage you die for for real but if you have like getting lethal people have stabbed you with knives all day uh, like this and you get like five lethal more damage is one damage two damage and then this changes to aggravated three damage four damage five damage and when you hit aggravated on uh, down to incapacitate and get at a second another damage you actually die for real so you're quite hard to kill like every other vampire um, and you only use blood to heal you for uh, lethal damage or below uh, unless you can use five blood points at the same time since we have chosen generation five our generation uh, fall by five, so it's generation eight. And instead of only using, only have ten blood, blood points, and can only use one blood point each turn, we have fifteen blood points and can use three blood points each turn. Um, we cannot embrace, and we share uh, wound p penalties, meaning that if I am down to this one in lethal. Uh, every blood brother gets minus two dice to everything because we feel what the other uh, vampire feels. Uh, but the stance uh, in the rules that only for one turn, or but I think you have that until it's healed. So uh, you have to check that one up. Then we go down to this one. We have to choose flaws, and flaws is something negative of of course like you are addicted to something you have a bad side you're blind you are uh, you are a child uh, and each, each of these have a negative effect uh, maybe a positive effect uh, but mostly negative and they cost a certain amount of points uh, I won't go through them all because there's a lot but um, you can only take flaws for the grand total of seven points unless your storyteller tells you otherwise um, and you don't have to take flaws but it makes your character more 
relatable and it makes that um, you get uh, more points to increase your character. You start off with 15 freebie points and if you choose to take uh, 7 bonus points in flaws, you have 22 points. Let's say we have taken flaws for 7 points, you have 22 points. Then you can take the opposite of flaws, merits. Merits is that you have acute senses, you have a boon, someone owes you, or so on. There is a lot here too. But something I would take as a Blood Brother fighter is additional discipline. It costs 5 points. Uh, it means that you can take another discipline. And the one I will suggest is the ability of... Dum 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 dum... Oh, there. Yeah. Celerity. Slayer does the same, uh, does the same as Fortitude and Potence, just to your dexterity. For every dot you have, you get one more dexterity. But you can use one blood point to convert all your celerity to extra actions. Meaning that if you only have one in, in celerity and you use one blood, blood point, you gain one additional a a a attack. Meaning that you have two instead of one. Uh, and at this one you can actually begin to dodge bullets because you have celerity uh, as long as you activate it you can dodge uh, bullets um, and if you have life free uh, same for potence you only have to use one blood point to get three more attacks or three automatic successes in damage um, and then we have 17 points left all of these costs Five points. These cost two points, and you can increase uh, your abilities to more than three at this point. So you can get four, and then you can uh, increase these. They cost seven. If you want more backgrounds, they cost one. If you want more in virtues, it costs two. If you want more in humanity, it costs two, and if you want more in willpower, it costs one. Uh, and I suggest to increase your willpower. Um, both so you can use it to get free successes and so on. But I don't like to be mind controlled, but if you don't agree, make it your own way. Uh, but I would increase these to at least like 12. Then we have 14 points left. 13 points. Then I would take one in celerity, so you just have it uh, started. Um, Putting points in your discipline for free points doesn't add up for your um, XP if you are XP hunting, but one in celerity is one good thing to have, so you can attack more than once and you get a little more dex dexterity and so on. You don't have to, but I think that would be a good beginning. And then we use like 5 points here. Uh, that was 12, 17, 17. 21, we have one point left. Um, and I know our stamina is bad, uh, but I would be at the beginning start increasing the stamina to at least maybe three points and then begin to increase your melee and firearms and potence, fortune and celerity. Um, that was something you should try to get, get, get to. Uh, but we have one point, and I put it in. Oh, yeah, we have one point left. Um, we could take one down in willpower. We could hope that our mental guy has a lot of willpower. And take uh, melee one more, so we have four, and get a specialty. Everything you have with four more in your attributes and abilities, you get a specialty. Like in melee, it could be blades. So every uh, blade weapon would uh, would would your tens count as two su successes. And if you have manipulation for it, could be lying. And if you have subterfuge specialty in lying too, it would be three successes for every ten. It just give that your tens count as more. Um, I think that would be a good starting uh, character. You have to you know. Roleplay with your fellow um, blood brothers um, to find out find out what you want to mix it and how you want to cr uh, create your powers. So you are um, 
as strong as possible. Also, if you choose a discipline, discipline for your other vampires uh, in the Blood Brothers, I will suggest maybe dominate so you can hypnotize people or presence or people likes you or obfuscate so you can be invisible. Something that you can learn, uh, you can share with your other Blood Brothers by learning them these ab ab uh, abilities um, or just so you have something different. Um, so the social one can uh, get people to do whatever you want and so on. And I forgot if, uh, yeah, your weakness on all vampire has that is that you cannot embrace, you cannot make more vampires because you are cr uh, created like a Frankenstein's monster. And uh, the wound p penalties I talked about earlier. I think that will be that. Um, I hope to see you next time. Bye!